Hi, today we'll make a simple music visualization like this. I'll be using the 2.81 version of Blender. Using the Displace modifier and the texture will make a plane dance to the rhythm of the music. And here are the steps. First, let's delete the default cube. X delete. And now let's save the file right away. Control S. Find the location. and type in the title music visualization dot bland now open a new window by dragging down the plus sign that appears when you hover your mouse cursor over the upper right corner of the 3D view editor. Here is the plus. Now drag down to open a new window over here. And set the editor to video sequencer. You can do it here in the upper left corner. Video sequencer. Now download the music.wave file and save it on your computer. I'll give you the link below. Now open the file in the video sequencer. So add sound and here is the file I need, music.wave. Now on the green soundtrack you can read the soundtrack consists of 741 frames. So set the end frame in the timeline editor over here to the same number, 741. Now, in the 3D view editor, add a plane, shift A, plane, and scale it as 10. Okay? Now, this can be a little smaller. Fine. Now, go to edit mode, tab, subdivide the edges. So, edge, subdivide and set the number of cuts to 100. Fine. Now go to Object Mode. Go to the Texture tab over here and create a new Stucci texture. New Stucci. Right. Set Noise Basis to Cell Noise Pattern to plastic, here it is, and type to hard. Go to modifiers and add a displace modifier. Set the texture to the Stucci texture you just created. Now we are going to animate the strength of the modifier. First, go to the first frame in the timeline if you're not there, but we are the first frame. And then keyframe strength in the displace modifier by hovering your mouse over it and hitting I on your keyboard. The color changes, which means a keyframe has been added. You can make this editor a bit larger to see it better. Now, switch the video sequencer to Graph Editor. Here, Graph Editor. Make sure Strength is selected on the left. Strength over here. Now we're going to bake the sound to F curves. So go to Key, Bake Sound to F curves, 
and select the music.wav file. Now this is what the graph editor looks like after hitting the Bake Sound to F curves button. Now play the animation to see how the displacement works. Okay. Now let's add a material. So go to materials, add a new material and set its base color to hex E7 8F 2F. For example, something like golden color. And to see the color, you must go to rendered shading. Now, in the world settings over here, let's change the color of the world to black. Slide it all down, fine. And now go to front view, so one on your numpad. Select the light, it's easier to do here in the outliner, and position it above the plane. G to grab, position it somewhere here, maybe somewhere here. Okay. Now, in the Object Data tab, change its type to point if necessary, and set its power to 5000 watts. Good. Maybe a bit higher, like so. Okay. And now it's time to position the camera. Now, around frame 130, the displacement reaches one of its extremities. So go to that frame and orbit in the 3D view editor until you're satisfied with what you see. I think something like that would be okay. Then align the camera to view. Go to view, align view, align active camera to view. Fine. This is what the camera can see. Now, still at frame 130, make a test render. So go to render, render image. Fine. I'm satisfied with that. You can tweak it if you like. Okay. Now, if you are satisfied with what you see, you are ready to render the animation. First, some settings. Go to the Output Properties tab, which is over here. It looks like a printer. And select an Output folder where your animation will be saved. So here, Output. Select the folder where you want to store your animation. You can give it a name like Music Visualizer. Again, accept. Now change the file format to FFMPEG video. And under encoding, over here, change the container to MPEG4. Good. We're going to add the audio in Blender, not in an external software. So set the audio codec to MP3. Fine. Now you can save the file and render the animation over here. Render, render animation. This will take a while. You can see the progress in the upper left corner. So I'll pause the video now until 
this process is over. And here is the rendered animation. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.